Hey guys, I'm Dom Nolcho and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys another Worth It video and for those of you who are new to this series, this is a series where I pretty much buy bundles in the Dying Light 2 store. Try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Now today we have the Plague bundle. Now this bundle is actually pretty decent, you get quite a bit of stuff from it. Now it costs 500 and you get the Plague outfit that you can wear anytime along with a full set of armor. Or gear whatever you want to call it a weapon called the plague cane it's a one-handed axe which is one of my favorite types of weapons to use along with its blueprint of course and a paraglider now here's what the outfit looks like it's actually really nice i'd out of 10 i'd rank this a, a nine since you know there's not really much else unique about it but it is a sick looking outfit and i personally think it fits very well into the Zombie Apocalypse? Well, I'm not too sure about the mask. The mask is quite nice though. Now as you can see for the armor set, it's pretty basic aside from the 12.5% boost in resistance to poison. So for the beginning of the game, I'd say it's pretty good to have, but you know, if you're if you played for a while, this is pretty useless unless you're doing a specific mission that has you facing against spitters or volatiles spitting at you. Other than that, I mean, it's it's alright, I mean, I wouldn't wear it. Before we get down to the weapon, this is the paraglider. I don't think it's really that important since, you know, we don't really play in third person and you can't see it. It's only good if you can show it off to your friends or maybe make some cool thumbnails. Or take some sweet pictures, but other than that, we can move on to the weapon. Now onto the plague cane, this is what it looks like when you don't upgrade it, just the basic blueprint, what it'll cost. And this is what it'll cost you to fully upgrade it. You can just look on screen and write it down. I'm not going to bother with that. Now it is a one-handed axe weapon, which is what I like using, but I also love mod slots because, you know, they increase the damage, give you some abilities, help you fight off crowds. And since this has zero mod slots, I... Wouldn't really recommend this. I mean, it is decent damage. If I had to rate it out of 10, I'd probably give it a 4. But, yeah, I, honestly, I wouldn't really use this weapon. It's not really worth fully upgrading for. Unless you, you know, play through the game and you want something new and exciting. But, yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you find yourself coming back. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. I like to...